Okay, welcome to another session. Uh, overcast, wet day, but we'll uh, soon warm you up. Okay, so feet are on the knees, supported by the chair, hands resting in your lap, and bring your attention to your breathing. Breath in through your nose. So you out through your mouth. Each in breath a little bit deeper. Start to lift up the trunk, lift the rib cage, out breath down. Starting to bring that tension into the body, into the spine. Breathe out, let the tension go. Starting to really open up the shoulders, a little lift of the chin. Breath in, shoulders back, chin up. Breath out, relaxing down. Breathing in, tension into the body. Breathing out, let the tension go. Just take a breath into the middle this time. With the out breath looking over your shoulder. Breath into the middle. Breathing out, looking over the opposite shoulder. Breath into the middle. Breathing out to the side. Carrying on. Bit out of the video, so it's a breath into the middle, breathe out to the side, breath into the middle, tension on, breathe out to the side. Really notice that difference between breathing in, tension, breathing out, letting the tension go. Breath into the middle. Hold that tension there, so you're extending the spine, shoulders back, tension in the neck. And then that out breath down, relax, let all the tension go. Just hold me in that relaxed position. Move into the shoulders, take a breath in, draw the shoulders to the ears. Breath out, relax, let it down, let the tension go. Breath in, shoulders up, elbows bent, squeeze those biceps down, relax, let the tension go. Breath in, shoulders, elbows, squeezing the fists. Release, tension gone. Breath in, shoulders, elbows, fists, squeeze the neck. Release, tension gone. Last one, then shoulders up, elbows bent, fist tight, tight neck, tight face, squeeze the eyes. Keep that tension there, good. And then release, let it go. Through the arms, breath in, raise up. Breath out, down, relax. Let it all release. Breath in. Not too, tension on. Breath out, down, relax, tension gone. Good, this time, really squeeze those arms, push the fingers apart. Good, and down. And again, that in breath up tall, squeeze the arms, fingers open, tension, tension, tension. 
Excellent. And as you release again, just let all the tension go, nice and relaxed. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Forward in the chair. Feet under the knees. Nice, good support. Maybe have the knees a bit wider so you don't slide off your chair. Draw in breath up tall. And then the out breath just down, relaxing, let the tension go. Back into the middle, take that breath in, up tall, and then the out breath down, let the tension go. Some tall on the in breath, relaxed on the out breath. Breath in, nice and tall. Breath out, down, relax, let the tension go. Breath in, up nice and tall. Breath out, let the tension go. So breath in, up nice and tall, hold the tension. This time though, you're gonna wrap those arms around, relax into the rotation. And back into the middle. Breath in, tall as you can. Out breath, wrapped around. In breath, up nice and tall. Out breath, wrapping around. Feel those back muscles lifting the upper trunk, the head, the neck, the shoulders, and releasing, relaxing, letting it move. Once more, either side. And back into the middle, take a breath in, up tall and hold. And you can just release there and relax, let that tension go. Okay, all in the pelvis this time. So side view, remember you're tilting the pelvis back, breathing in, roll the pelvis forward, breath out, let the pelvis tilt back, breathing in, roll the pelvis forward. Really getting that lumbar spine moving. Good, this time, feet are slightly forward, the breath in up tall, out breath down, stretching down. In breath, up nice and tall, out breath, relax, reach down.
Excellent stuff. Okay, releasing, relaxing there. Sit yourself back in the chair, you've got to support the chair behind you. In breath, first of all, just bring extension into the spine. As you breathe out, chin tucked in, relax the spine, but stretch the leg. Feel the tension of the nerves. Pull back with the in breath. Out breath down. The opposite foot. Turn. Breathing in. Prepare as you breathe out. Flex the spine. Extend the knee. In breath to prepare. Out breath down. Extend. Return. Finishing and relaxing there. Good stuff. Okay, bring the chair out of the way. Needed to balance, obviously, keep it nearby, otherwise, lots of uh, out of the way there. Okay. Okay, so feet underneath, knees under hips. Shoulders back. I'm in with some uh, balance work. Okay, so uh, foot to the side and behind. Remember, we've got our sweep of the knee across and away. And if you are balancing the leg that you're swinging, it's the fingertip on the same side as the opposite arm joins in. Six and head overhead. Six and down there. Opposite side, then. So the foot starts off side and behind, and then away. Opposite arm joins in. Six, good overhead. Six, down, down, and then, okay. We bring the weights in. So, starting off with our tiptoes, and go up to 30 repetitions. As always, you're in charge, you work at your own level. So, 5, 10, 15, doesn't matter, you, you work out where your baselines are. So, we're up and down. Five. Twenty. You want to stop when you want to stop. You're in charge. Okay, so there, good stuff. So you feel the backs, below the knees and the calf muscles, giving you a little bit of ache. It's quite normal. Move into the arms and take to the side. 
Again, for the arms, we do up to 20 repetitions. It's a raise, down. Do this one ten again, same as before. Stop if you need to stop. Fifteen. Uh, 20 there, good. Okay, we'll drop down for one weight to do a bit of trunk. And we'll repeat legs, arms, and then trunk. So, take the weight to the side, come up, over, one repetition. Two, go up to 15. Good thing, good. And switching over onto the opposite side. Yeah, up to 15, down towards the knee, up and across. And And then 15 there, good. Bring the other weight back in. And then do some work on the, the legs again, so the shoulder width apart. If you're taking ourselves down to our squat, back up. Then with the legs up to 30. Ten. Fifteen. And can you stop if you want to stop? You know your limits. Five, five more. You can pull them out. Let's see there, good, they working nice and strong. Okay, shoulders, again, arms are coming up to shoulder height. 
Maybe taking arms forward up to 20, raise and down. Five. Twenty there, good. Relaxing, okay. I'm bring the trunk back in, reaching down towards the floor. Take a breath in. Take a tall, extended breath, and then you're down. Stretching towards the floor. Turn. So again, it's a breath in. Extend the trunk down. Do up to 10. So two. So confident in our bending, we're not afraid to bend. So it's tall, first of all, extend down, flexing the spine, nice and safe, nice and confident. One more. Excellent work. Okay, we're going to go back in. We do one more cycle. Do uh, legs. So one foot forward, one foot slightly behind. Then you're in this position. And from there, you're just going to sink down. And return. We'll do up to 15 on each leg. How deep you go, that's your choice. Five. And switching sides. Yeah, now the now many your choice up to fifteen is the goal. And down. Then good. Okay. Do one more in standing and put one weight out of the way. If you want to use both, you can. So do a combination of trunk and arms. So feet a bit wider, softer. 
You're holding that false stance position. Bring the weight up towards the chest. You're going to rotate. Trunk to the side. Come back through the middle. And rotate to the opposite side. As you feel more confident, you take the weight further away from the chest. This will make it harder. Get that trunk mobility and your shoulders working. On each side. Excellent. Land back there, relaxing the arms down. Good work. Okay, so that's the functional part with the weights over. Put the weights out of the way. And then lead us to our last section. So down onto the mat work. So in your own time, there you go. Uh, that position, put your feet under your uh, knees, under hips, hands under shoulders. And start that movement, the pelvis rolling forward, rolling back. Nice for mobility. Forward and then turn. And all the way up this time, we're going to get the ribs involved. Tilt back, lift up, chin down. And down there, leave the hands forward, sink your bottom down to your feet. Holding that stretch there. Take a deep breath in. And then again. Come out from there. Keep that knee in position. Space behind you. Pushing your leg into that space. Extend away. And turn. Opposite. And then return. We make it more challenging, bring the opposite arm in. Shouldn't be at the expense of the control of the exercise. So staying nice and steady, great, carry on. If you're wobbling too much, just carry on with the legs, leave your hands where they are. Three, two, and then one, and then one down there. Back into that tilt of the pelvis. And loosen down. Keep 
Deep breaths again. Turn out from there, resting down onto your front. <clears throat> Tension onto the legs. We're just going to bend the knee and down, opposite leg and down. A bit of knee mobility, working the hamstrings, the muscles in the back of the thigh, stretching the front of the thigh and the hip. And then from there, you're going to bend the knee and then look to lift the knee off the floor. Down, relax, opposite, bend, lift, down, relax. And the muscles in your lower back bottom working with the lip. And then the last progression, you bend the knee, lift, and then as you straighten the leg out, hold the weight of the leg, and then slowly down. Bend, lift, extend, hold. Slowly down. And bend the bend and lift, and then the bend, lift, and extending. That's one. Okay, let's bring our attention to our tummy muscles. If we can, we're going to rest on our forearms like so. So, elbows under the shoulders. And action number one, you just leave the knees on the floor, draw the hips up. So if you're passing a pillow underneath your stomach, and then gently down, and relaxing there. And again, start to lift up, hold. Down. And then up and hold. Down. Up and hold. And if you feel that's quite comfortable and you want to challenge it a bit more, you tuck the toes underneath you, come up first of all onto the hips, and then you just push the knees away from the floor, holding the full plank. Knees down, hips down, and jump. And you're in charge, you've got. First part, hips come up, hold, you can hold there. You want to challenge it more, knees come off, hold. Down. 
Excellent. Okay, we're just going to release yourself flat onto the floor. One last exercise on our tummy, our normal work for the lower back. You have your arms at your side to begin. And draw the shoulders up and down. Feel the muscles at the back. That's in the shoulders, back of the neck. Good. Okay, if you feel you want to make that more challenging, you can bring your hands to shoulder height. So lift them down. Good. One more. Yeah. Feel your back working, feel your core working. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Ease back into your kneeling pose. And then just loosening the trunk up and down. Sit the bottom down. Deep breaths as you hold that stretch. Come from there, you can round onto your side. <clears throat> holding that clan position so the hips at about 45 degrees the feet resting in line with the body you do this hand your choice you can support you can rest on the legs up to you and the action is to open and close the knee we're going to do up to 20 lifts on each exercise we're going to do three exercises so you decide it's your first time five or ten You've been doing it frequently, you'll know what that level is now. So next exercise, feet come off the floor, you can close the knee again, up to 20, and you decide how many
20, excellent, feet are down, push the legs out straight, and last one, so again up to 20 lifts, raising and down, feel the muscles around the bottom of the hip working, you feel you've done enough, perfect, rest, got some more in you, keep going, five, Then it. You feel your hips working nice and strong. You're going to switch sides. In that first position in the clan, the hips are about 45 degrees, feet are together. So opening and closing that knee up to 20 repetitions, whenever you choose. Then. Sensing the second exercise, the feet are up, holding, and closing the knee. Five. And In the last position, legs are extended. <clears throat> Lift the lower up to 20. Mm. 
that. So you want to take yourself around onto your back. <clears throat> Knees and feet together, you can just let the knees roll side to side, start off nice and small, and then just make that arc of movement bigger. You might feel a click, plunk, releasing of gas, or any kind of tissue tension in the lower spine. No harm. So back in to the starting posture there. Bring our tummy muscles into, into action. So we're going to do up to the knees and down for 10. Two. And then we're ten. Good. And then we're going to bring in a bit of an oblique curl. So you can take the right hand across to the left knee. And again, we'll do up to ten. Do you need to support the head? Just take the weight of the head. Nine. And ten. Excellent. And then it's a switch there, left hand to the right knee, across, and return again up to ten. Yeah, good. And then just relax, let the head down, loosen. Excellent. Let the knees roll, tension out of the tummy in the back. Good. And just back in there, we're going to do a bit of hip control. So you bring the knee up, holding in the air there, and you're going to draw circles on the ceiling. So you have a little, little pen light or laser light, tracing little circles on the ceiling for five. Uh, so three, four, five, and down. And the opposite leg, so you lift circles on the ceiling. And five circles and down. Five and down. Five and down. So just alternating the legs. If that feels okay and manageable, you can make it a bit more challenging on the next one. Three. Five. So you're holding one leg in the air. You can bring both knees up. That's your start position. You carry on the hip control. If it's a struggle. You just go back doing the one leg. Or you can take the weight, support the weight of the lower limbs with the arm if you need to. You take charge of what you're working on. 
five on each side. One more set. It's time to take hold of the knees, knees to the chest. Jump down, relaxing, you push your legs away. Tension out to the front of the hips, hands on the tummy, breath in. Breath out. Back in there. Okay, last exercise focused around the, the hips and the bottom. It's a tilt of that pelvis, lifting, driving the hips up towards the ceiling. And down. Slowly up, slowly down. Five, good. Aiming to get up to 15. Remember, you're in charge. Six. Driving those hips up nice and high, bottom, lower back, all working nice and strong. Send there uh, five more if you can, rest if you need to. Excellent work. Oh, my knees are down there. Good stuff. Okay, bring those feet and knees back together. Start that gentle roll side to side. So we're going into our cool down. And just take the knees down to one side, hold them there, leave the shoulders down, feel that stretch across the body, across the trunk. And back through the middle over to the opposite side. Back into the middle there, that stretch on the hips across the right foot, that uh, left foot over the right knee. If you can, you reach through, pick up the right leg. If that feels too much of you know, a, a, a struggle, take hold of the right foot, right knee, draw it in towards you, like so. You can bring up the leg, hold it there, good. If you can't, just take hold of the foot and left knee. Down, switch sides. Same, right foot over the left knee, pick up the left leg. If you can't quite pick up the leg, 
and a knee. You want anything towards you. Okay, bring yourself into sitting. One leg outstretched, one leg tucked in, reach down to that outstretched leg. Switching sides. And into that kneeling position. Forward and back, bring your hips and the pelvis. So take your hands around to one side. And just lower your bottom down. So if you walk to the left, you feel it stretch through the right. Vice versa. And then round to the opposite side. So through the middle then, last time, just sinking down. Nice deep breath. Hands towards your knees, let your head come up above your chest. Not to let your blood pressure catch up. Slowly onto your feet. And just to finish your breath, breath and movement practices. So it's breath in, nice and tall, that out breath down, just stretching to the side. Through the middle, breath in, opposite down. Release that tension, go. Through the middle. It's time the out breath, wrap the arms around, stretch. Through the rib cage, back in, opposite. And last time, it's big breath in, reach tall, and chin tucked in with the out breath, just stretching down towards your feet. Turn, finishing feet on the knees, knees under your hips, pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in, weight even through the front and the back of the feet. And draw in your last deep breath. Breathing out to finish. Excellent work, people, till next time. <laughs>